just a little afternoon after lunch. Pipe smoke. A little wind here. Here I am in the woods. I don't see any widow makers. Smoking uh, a DGE. Just a nose warmer. Is that a nose warmer or what? I like the shape and it really sits. So, makes a nice little smoke. I'm just at the end of the bowl. Some LJ Peretti Company matches. Thank you, Tom. Smoking some uh, Cooper's Ark teaching mixture, let's call it. It's uh, McClellan, Virginia that Rob Cooper from Cooper's Ark uh, used to do a little introduction to pipe smoking seminar at the Chicagoland Pipe Show. So he had a little bit left and he gave it to me. It was really nice. Thanks, Rob. So I just wanted to do a little shout out for John Kern Sr. Thank you, John. Sharing some of his Balkan Supreme that he didn't care for. Well, we are right at the end of this ball. And it's such a McClellan, Virginia. It is just ketchup -y in the tin. But it smokes nice. Not super sweet, it's really mild. I don't really know anything else about it. It's good smoke though. I had to dry it out a little bit. So. Yeah. Another mass casualty. Whoop. In the woods here, so I'm standing on an old rotten log. So when will all that stuff stop? I wonder. Never? Probably never has stopped, <laughs> honestly. I mean, we treasure ourselves as civilized people, tolerant civilized people. Angela Merkel's comments yesterday while in China were interesting. And well put, you know. She definitely spoke as a world leader. <laughs> Widowmakers. Um, but you know that, that kind of terrorism stuff, let's just call it that. It doesn't matter if it's a movie theater, at a nightclub in Paris, in Tel Aviv, in Nigeria happening all of these places. And, uh, you know, you have to wonder if it's, uh, I am just at the end here, so we we'll, might just let this go. Um, the punishment is meted out adequate to the crime. Um, I don't know. Is law enforcement just so lax that uh, nobody feels compelled to do the right thing because the punishment is too great? I mean, that's not kind of how we run Western cultures, honestly. We operate on trust that everybody is going to do the right thing. Just driving down the road, you just trust that somebody isn't going to make that one little twist. They might, by accident, while texting or Facebooking or whatever, that's the new problem. But to do it deliberately and to involve other people. I mean, okay, suicide, go ahead. Go ahead. But <sighs> you know, it, it becomes almost incom incomprehensible that somebody would choose to do such a thing. But it happens a lot.
No answers here. I don't know. I'm starting to suck ash. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I just don't have much to say about that. Except I wish it would stop. I wish people would just be like us, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the mental health systems have kind of fallen away. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No easy answers. But we can certainly ponder it as we smoke our pipes and try not to get killed by big falling bra maple branches. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm really sorry it happened. Take a moment, reassess, decide what you can do to make the world a better place so maybe that isn't as much of an option or people don't fall into the cracks, I don't know. All you can do is do the best thing for yourself, live as well as you can. So here's some white speckles on the leaves. What could that be? An airplane carrying paint that dropped a little spray? <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, it's very white up there. Is it snowing? No, it's not. What it is, even though you can't see it, are blue heron nests, so there's a rookery happening right here. I had counted 11 nests, but now I see a couple of new ones. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like an apartment building up there. So it gets a little whiter, and then it gets really white. <laughs> oh my god, we're in a sea of shit. Okay, time to make our exit so we don't get shat upon. There's some eggshells, there's odd feathers. Now we're out of it, but it's a quite extensive little area back there. 